Section 4.2, Congruent Triangles. Now that we have the basic ideas of triangles down from the first section, we can start looking at congruent triangles. Recall though that congruent means same size and same shape. So, The two shapes I just drew can't be congruent because they're not the same shape. And then even though the first and third shape that I drew are the same shape, they're not the same size, so they're also not congruent. But if I draw a shape, and then I can copy it. These shapes are congruent because they're the same size and the same shape. Now bear in mind that it doesn't necessarily matter. Let's see if I can spin this. No, it doesn't look like I can. But let's flip it. And it looks like I can't do that either. Nope. That's okay. I'll just go ahead and freehand draw one. Really crappy freehand. But let's pretend that these two shapes are the same size and the same shape. It doesn't matter how they're rotated. They don't have to be oriented the same exact way. As long as they are the same size and the same shape, no matter what way they're positioned, they are considered congruent. So in this case, we would say that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle EFD. Or we can say that quadrilateral G H I J is congruent to quadrilateral K L M N. Okay, we need to notice something and that's when objects are congruent then their corresponding parts are congruent. So let's look at two congruent triangles, since that's what this chapter is about. Again, I'm just going to go ahead and copy this and paste. And let's label these triangles. So I'm going to tell you that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. Now the way that we name our triangles when we're saying that they're congruent to one another is important. To put A and D as the first letter in each triangle means that angle A is congruent to angle D and that those are corresponding angles in this case. Having angle B and angle E in the middle means that angle B is congruent to angle E and that those are corresponding angles. Finally, we have angle C and angle F. So angle C is congruent to angle F because they are corresponding angles. So this is our list of corresponding angles. We also have corresponding sides. And for this triangle, we have AB congruent to DE. We have BC congruent to EF. And we also have AC congruent to DF. 